hey loves you welcome back to my channel it's your girl bb harry first guys i'm back again for another reaction video and in today's video we're going to be reacting to one of the glamorous um video yeah it's content and the title states give one islamic state you would love to live in guys i can't wait for us to watch it you know the glamorous when it has to do with the glamorous you know his content always um excites me and you know i can't wait to devour this so if you're new you're welcome to my channel and without further ado let's just get right into this video you don't have to go very far in britain or the west in general at the moment uh, to find people's uh, unwillingness to assert the superiority of their values but they know the superiority of their values because they live with the superiority of their values. Um, I talk at a lot of campuses and I was at one last night in London uh, where a student got up and uh, started protesting because I had said that uh, an Islamist government was of itself a bad thing, which I think it is. Uh, I just said to this student, and it's not a hard question uh, you'd have thought to ask, I just said, well, name me one Islamist government state that you would want to live in. Hold on to your hats, folks. This debate is about to get explosive. You're about to witness a clash of civilizations, a battle for the very soul of the West. On one side, we have Douglas Murray, a fearless champion of Western values, unafraid to speak truth to power. On the other, a chorus of voices seeking to undermine the very foundations of the society that allows them to express their dissent. Get ready for fireworks. And this is a serious question, ladies and gentlemen. It is also a personal question, and one which, if people were honest, they would admit is personal. As a gay man, there's not a country that's run by Muslims which I could live in. One of my best friends is in hiding again tonight, Diane Hassiali, because of what she says, and she'd be killed if she went to any Muslim country. And I think that matters. And I think the way in which it affects our personal lives does matter, and we should not ignore it. We have the great blessing of living under this system. And we take it for granted, and we spit on it, and we can because we're living in that freedom. But I beg you, ladies and gentlemen, not to pretend that that means that we shouldn't assert the superiority of that system, because that is what it is. It is a superior system. And a culture, if there is such a thing as a cohesive Western culture, which gave the 20th century two world wars, in which nearly 100 million people died, in which 6 million people were sent to death camps in one in, by the Germans and many more by the Russians, a, a culture which can do that um, really must be superior if it can point a finger at others and claim, it, claim its moral superiority. And Mr. Glass uh, treated us to a uh, textbook example of Western masochism. And I know some people in the hall enjoy that because some people laughed and clapped when he cited Western civilization and epitomized it by what? World War, Nazism, Abu Ghraib, Guantanamo. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you believe that the West should be treated and regarded only as uh, something which is treated by its lowest moments and believe that all other cultures and all other civilizations should be treated only by their highest moments you're already putting in an unequal uh, challenge here we are for principles rule of law equal citizenship accountability universal suffrage and separation of power these are the indisputable principles but let the people find their model don't come with your model to impose it right. onto them okay. Professor Ramadan argues that we should allow people to find their own model, not impose ours on them. This sounds noble on the surface, but let's peel back the layers of this argument. Firstly, he's implying that Western values are somehow exclusive to the West, a mere cultural preference rather than universal truths. This is a dangerous fallacy. The principles of free speech, individual liberty, and democratic governance are not Western inventions. They are the hard-won fruits of centuries of human struggle, for a just and equitable society. Secondly, Professor Ramadan conveniently ignores the fact that many in the Muslim world are actively yearning for these very values. Look at the brave women in Iran risking their lives for the right to choose what they wear. Look at the courageous journalists in Turkey silenced for daring to speak truth to power. Are we to stand idly by and tell them, sorry, you need to find your own model? Our silence is not neutrality, it is complicity in their oppression. But wait, there's more. This debate is about to take a sharp turn. You won't believe what happens next. <laughs> what 
Professor Ramadan is doing um, is uh, the reverse side of what I hear a lot of conservative um, right-wing politicians doing now, which is effectively we just have to give them a lot of time. You tend now to hear the thing about people needing their own reformation, Islam being 600 years younger and all this kind of thing. I recently heard exactly the same thing as Mr. Uh, Professor Ramadan was saying, uttered by uh, Norman Lamont, um, Baron Lamont of Tehran. Um, and um, I'm not, I'm he not said, uh, he don't, said don't during this, my he said address. during this, he said exactly the same thing. But they need time. Tariq Ramadan said it's going to take time. How much time, ladies and gentlemen? I don't think we have time. And I would beg uh, Professor Ramadan to go around the Muslim world explaining to women in Saudi Arabia they can look forward to freedom in 600 years' time. And that gay people in the Muslim world can look forward to having their first meaningful so, relationship six centuries from now. So send, send the troops, send the troops, please. Send the troops in Saudi Arabia, not in Iraq and not in Iran. In Saudi Arabia, do it and promote them. Promote Saudi Arabia, not Iraq. Why are you, why are you, why, why are you not asking the troops to go to Saudi Arabia? Because of Joe's strategy. One moment, please. Look. It's not about Islam, as the lady said so rightly at the back. What about Buddhism? What about Confucianism? All these other systems. I think the key one has to bear in mind uh, is um, for all that we have to be proud of the West, I believe it is in the arrogant and forceful association of the superiority of Western values that we have consistently undermined all that is most precious in our civilization. Why we compare them with Muslim values, I agree with the lady. We could have focused on, on Buddhist values, we could have focused on any other types of values. The reason why it kept on coming back to it is, as you know, because this is the matter of our time. And it is not hard at the moment to notice the calls for the different type of societies that people want to create. And that there is a clear difference. And I hope, ladies and gentlemen, when you vote for the right side tonight, you make this clear. There is a difference between the Western states which practice their own values that we sometimes mistakenly call Western values. And yes, we should call them liberal values. And yes, we should call them universal values, but we identify them with the West because they came from the West, because they were nurtured in the West. If we do not assert our values, ladies and gentlemen, who will? Who will assert them across the Muslim world? Who are the reformers in the Muslim world going to look to when they want to see and desperately need separation of church and state? If we do not say, if we do not assert and state that we believe that is the best way to live, who is going to do it in the Muslim world? Who is going to feel emboldened to do it? And Urshad Manji uh, said a few weeks ago when she was in London, said this, if you give up on us, if you give up on yourselves, people like me are dead. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we should take that call seriously. To assert the superiority of Western values is to state the obvious. It's to have faith in ourselves and it's to have faith in other people. Thank you. Murray makes a crucial point. If we don't stand up for our values, who will? This is not about imposing our way of life on others. It's about defending the principles that have allowed us to create the most free and prosperous societies in human history. The reformers in the Muslim world, those risking their lives for basic freedoms, are looking to the West for inspiration and support. They are not asking for a Western model. They are demanding the universal values that the West has championed for centuries. If we abandon our principles out of fear of being labeled arrogant, we betray not only ourselves, but also those fighting for freedom around the world. This debate is a wake-up call for all of us. We must be proud of our values and unafraid to defend them. Like this video if you agree with Douglas Murray's powerful message. Subscribe to this channel for more thought-provoking content and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future debates. The future of the West depends on it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. This is Doug Lamoris content and you guys know how Doug Lamoris is very intentional and vocal when it comes to political things and things that have to do with the affairs of the people. Guys, I really hope you guys are enjoying watching this and I just need you guys to comment down in the comment section below. I bring Doug Lamoris content right there. I think the last time we had Doug Lamoris was um, in the last um, one month ago or so, but guys, one thing I love about Doug Lamoris is that he's very vocal and you know he strike the nail like he hits the nail on the head as it ought to be he doesn't um, beat around the bush he's a very straightforward person and you know he's very intentional about 
what he does and the things he says right so thank you so much for watching if you're new you're welcome to my channel this is bb heifers react and we react to all kind of things happening in diaspora and if this might interest you you might consider subscribing to our channel turn on the notification bell like this video give us a little thumbs up i love you guys so so much and um i think i'll be going but i won't stay too long trust me i'll be right back and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye